Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for some more Starcom Unknown Space. Uh, so I had a comment, uh, one of the, the people that watched the last video uh, requested, they're like, hey, can you go over how to build a ship and just some, some questions, right? Um, or, or ship building and things. Uh, part of the problem with doing that is trying to figure out a way to effectively build a ship uh, and having the resources and stuff I need to. So I spent the last couple of hours um in in a save game editor so welcome to the cheater mccheaterson uh so this is a cheating mccheater uh so it has been heavily edited uh, you can see uh i have found and analyzed a lot of stuff uh you can see also i haven't the very first place uh and uh matter of fact you also notice i have i have a few resources uh i've never even seen metallic helium in the game and i have a bunch of it uh all my guys are maxed out or well, i don't know if they're maxed out they've all got level five skills uh <laughs> they have no experience um and i've done no missions uh but with that being said also we can go in here and you can look and see I pretty much have everything uh, researched or uh, open. I have 10,000 research points. Uh, and kind of what I want to do is in the beginning, uh, when you kind of first start out, uh, you're going to be limited on your what, what you can do. Uh, you're pretty much limited to these uh, the Mark I plasma guns. Uh, what I would what I do usually in the beginning is you can go down here to the bare minimum for your ship, right? which this is this is how your ship looks obviously there's a forward and a backwards um as you build your ship uh the design and shape of your ship is, isn't as important uh what i would do in the very beginning is load as many energy weapons of the, the plasma mark ones as you can because uh, that's all you're really going to have in the beginning uh you're going to have a couple of i try to put as much uh armor as i can especially on the front of the ship because i have a tendency to run towards things uh, and run into them with my the nose, of my ship, and with your your bridge being in the very front. Usually, it it leads for explodey bits. Um. So with that, your propulsion and your energy. Uh, I tried to to use as many reactors as I can. Uh, normally, in the beginning, you have one, maybe two reactors. You may have a battery. Uh, you're very limited on what you can do. Um, and then your propulsion. Like normally I'll do this and then like you can't really stick a propulsion on the side here. Um, so what you're going to need to do is, and you have to have a survey lander. So you have to put this guy in here someplace. Uh, you can either put it on the back or you can put it on the front. Um, so some just someplace out of the way. Uh, I try to make it look fairly like it belongs there. Uh, then usually I would use your bulkhead. Uh, if you can afford a heavy bulkhead, use a heavy bulkhead, not use a light bulkhead. Uh, and the only reason for that is, is if you look at the hit points, it's got, it's got an extra hit point. Uh, and then your propulsion, throw you a couple of propulsions on here. Uh, and then that's kind of your main, your, your starter ship, right? Uh, now what I'll do is I'll go out here and before I ever even leave this, this area, I'll, I'll full boost as fast as I can. And then I'll start firing. And I'm what I'm looking to see is, and I just just fire and fire and fire and fire. Uh, I'm trying to find out if my I'm going to run out of of power. Uh, so obviously, if we go back into here, I uh, notice we are 14.5 out of 25. So if I go my, back to my energy weapons, I'll, I'll load more plausible ones in. Uh, this is obviously a bad a bad thought for a ship, uh, and you would think, hey, this is great. I have lots of firepower. They fire really fast and lots of bullets going out. The problem is it's an extended fight. Uh, and this was actually holding up fairly well. But as soon as you, you run out of that power, you're going to have problems, right? So now you're, you gotta wait. you got to wait for it to generate back up. So as soon as that happens, especially if you get overwhelmed by, by several people or several other ships, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause some problems. Um... So what I would do in this case instead 
uh, is I would probably pull these guys off like this. Uh, I see. Oh, I see. Energy. Another macro reactor. A couple of batteries involved, right? And then at that point, then you can. Uh, and you have to have a survey lander, or, or they won't let them leave. And then we'll, we'll, we can put your propulsion back on. All right. So even just that that change to add one more reactor. Now you see it's still going down, but that's going to allow us to stay in a fight for a lot longer. And in the beginning of the game, this is probably the ship that you really want to kind of focus and play with. Um, because this, this is all using very early tech. Um, the problem is, is you need to find uh, an extra car light for the extra reactor before you put that many, that many guns on there. And even at that point, we can may even be able to get away with putting a, a you know, one or two more energy or one or two more on there. And you can kind of put these wherever you want to, uh, do that, put it back here, put a little bit more propulsion on it. Uh, we'll put a little bit more armor on, uh, do it like this, make it, make it look a little sleeker. You know, we're starting to get up there close to our thing. Um, if you do have, and I haven't really researched anything extra here, but then you hit act and do this, you put some of these guys on here. Uh, you notice those are only using point three, and you hit act and you can flip it over to the other side. Uh, and then that, that way, when you get out here, you can actually use your, your Q and E keys and actually strafe sideways. Uh, but yeah, so even with that, we're a lot more power, a lot more bullets on target. Uh, and off you kind of go. So, but with that, uh, that's, that's really the beginning of it. Uh, and until you start opening, uh, other, other items. I'm gonna go in here. I, I I wanted to do that one on the uh, the beginning ship because that's kind of you know what you're stuck with. Uh, your compact construction uh, that's gonna give you five more hexes, and then your explorer hull is gonna give you uh, up to forty. Right. So then we're gonna go back into our shipyard here. Now you notice that. Oh, so you notice here it still says I have 30, right? So if I go here to my new ship, I choose my Explorer, I tell it the new ship. Uh, you need five Ethrine to, to do this. And that gives you your new ship. Um, and then that's your new bridge. So now with that, now we're actually up to 45. And then you're kind of going back to the beginning, right? And you're going back. Let's get some energy in here. We knew from the, the previous one we had a couple of reactors. We put we put a couple more reactors in. Put us put us a few batteries in. And even with this, uh, when you uh, depending on how quickly you you go through, I I don't know if the reactors need to be protected. Uh, I as a general rule try to. to to cover my reactors with things. Uh, it seems to, you know, it, it makes me happier. So we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just put up a, a few guns, just, just a few guns. Uh, so we have, we have a few guns involved in there. Uh, we'll, uh, And you can use these these guys here um, and just kind of stuff them in there like that too. So we're just going to do this. So this is kind of, once again, uh, bad ideas, uh, abilities. So I have this big, massive ship. Uh, it's only, it's almost 30. Uh, and so technically you could probably get away with building something like this in your, uh, with a starter ship uh, because we're under 30. Uh, and I think that was a maximum for power, which, which this is ridiculous. Um, so, but you notice it, it is, it is slow. 
it does it's 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 hard to, to describe it but it's it's very sluggish but we're gonna put a lot of bullets out and one thing I have found with this game uh, is there's no the, the, the best the best defense is a, is a good offense uh, if, if you can put enough bullets to rip somebody apart before they can put holes in you uh, it's it's going to go a long ways towards solving your your problems uh, this is really uh, if I go to ship designs uh, so this is my missile boat okay so I need uh, shields. So basically, this is a, a missile boat that I, I used in a, a prior playthrough. So I need shields, scanner, and plasma. Let's do this. Research. So uh, let's go missiles. We'll go fix guns. We'll just go ahead and research all this stuff real quick. And like I said, I, I kind of built this this save game specifically uh, to make my life a little bit easier to make the video. Um, all right, so now that should be allows us to go to the shipyard, go to ship designs, up oh, plasma cube. Okay, research. Uh, plasma two. <laughs> Designs. We will load the missile boat. All right. So this is my missile boat that I that I built. Uh, you notice I have a bunch of reactors down the center, batteries in the back, guns in the back. Uh, we have some generators. We do have shields. Uh, and then, oh, this one actually alternates missiles and uh, Mark II turrets. And then it's got a couple of uh, plasma Mark ones in the front. So this guy here. And this is the, the ship that I actually used uh, for the our season one of the playthrough. Obviously, you see lots and lots of bullets out. And then we do have a, a few missiles that we can also, also uh, load. And for the grand scheme of things, uh, this ship did very, very well as a as a missile boat. Um, and it's still kind of slow. It's still not super fast. Uh, I haven't put a lot of points into into building things yet, or into uh, in improving the engines and stuff like that. But uh, like I said, you can kind of look at it. All I did was alternate. So the the these are the uh, Mark II plasmas, so I have two or four of those. I have six missile launchers, and and that. So I, I like keeping them sleek because oh this this poor bastard. You have <laughs> you, you poor dumb bastard. Uh, so you see with the uh, especially with the Red Raiders, uh, they're. they're they're not very technically advanced. They they're using the the beginning weapons, uh, basically the the plasma weapons. I think they eventually get some missiles. Oh, I didn't even mean to blow up the thing. Um. So and then this thing actually does really well, just kind of standing out in the middle of wherever it wants to to go and uh, do that. So the missiles, the problem with the missiles, and especially with the way I have them here, is you'll notice that they shoot off at, at that 45 degree angle. Uh, and then with them shooting off at the 45 degree angle, they have to they have to turn and come back. And I'm not, they're not very set up to do to do that very well. Uh, so the fixed guns are they also have their own problems of trying to get enough of the uh, stuff in the front of your ship. Uh, and you have you have to aim it. You need a lot of mobility. You need to be able to move and uh, to do what you can for that stuff. So each of those are kind of their own their own independent, you know, differences. And the uh, a lot of the stuff for the game really depends on on building your ship and doing what you need to do. Make sure that when you do get your shields, you have them. The shields are gonna the bubbles are gonna come off of wherever the shields are in the ship. So you want to make sure that they're in a in an area where 
uh, it makes sense and they'll cover the entire ship. Um, I really should have got stuff for guns or for my, my engines. <laughs> this thing is so slow without them. Uh, so it's a it's a balancing game of trying to figure out which which uh, uh, which technologies you want to go with. I recommend uh, whether you choose missiles, you choose the fixed guns, or you choose the lasers, pick one and sink as many points as you can into it. Uh, whatever suits your playstyle, whatever uh, is the best for what you want to do. Um, the reason I say that is, as I've seen from the fixed guns and from the missiles, uh, the missiles are a little bit more standoffish. The uh, fixed guns are more in your face. I'm going to shoot you as, as much as I can. Um, so there, there is a, a big difference uh, in those. And it's really more about your play style. I'm not really worried about what they have to say. Let me go to research. I'm going to go into uh, lasers. Can you go away? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Uh, research. All right, so we already have lasers, uh, advanced optics, lensing, right? Uh, mean maximum laser range, right? So, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a bunch of points here real quick. Here, give me a second, guys. I I will be back after I get finished spending these points. Uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna build something stupid, and then I'll be back. All right. So I spent a bunch of points. Uh, I've opened a bunch of things, uh, mostly. Uh, we want to go to a new ship. Uh, I'm going to open a cruiser. Uh, we're going to create a new ship. So this is the cruiser uh, bridge. And if you're trying to figure out how to do it, you can move left click and move to move things around, things like that. So what we want to do is we want to start with uh, let's start with pulsion. Uh, so we do have oh all right. So at some point I open the few mark two engines. Oh Lord. Uh, so we want to go to energy. Uh, so we have large batteries. So basically I did a lot of points into things that I don't normally do. Uh, so we have reactor mark two. We do reactor mark two. Do uh, large, large batteries here. Right. We also can do medium batteries and then you can rotate, like kind of put them in like uh, puzzle pieces. Right, so if you're trying to make some cool design, you can kind of spin things around, right? Do this. Make some make some weird cool design in the beginning, uh, to do to do different things. Um I, I do love the the what this game allows us to do with things like that. So uh so missile mark ones, energy weapons. I wanna go to a uh laser mark one. So with these, these are our uh, the actual lasers. I'm gonna put a bunch of these on here. Uh, part of the reason I'm doing that is because I haven't uh, played with these yet, uh, and I want I've completely maxed them out. Kind of you know, basically do whatever we can do with them, um, and then I'm going to do uh, very bad things with them. I'm sure. Uh, so and all I'm gonna do is just put lasers on it. That's all I'm doing. Uh, so they're going to go propulsion. We're going to go with uh, go with Mark II engines. Kind of funny. We can still only put small wings on it. Uh, wings are for uh, I can still only put two small. It's hilarious. Uh, let's see, let's go utilities, let's go uh, scanner mark one. That's nice to have laying around. We'll put us a, a, a surveyor on there because we have to. Uh, shield generators, so we still have, I, I'm not even half, uh, I'm over halfway, 54 out of 85. Uh, so we could probably put a shield generator like this. Put another one over here. Get us some armor in the front.
armor and the front. Do some of that. And you can spin these around, so if you want a different, uh, like if you're going for a different aesthetic or you're trying to get the lines to line up, you can do that a lot better than I obviously have here. Um, Do that. So you can kind of uh, generate them to, to get your, uh, kind of get all the stuff to line up and, and make it pretty and, and have this big monster ship. So I'm at 81.5 out of that. I don't know how this thing's gonna work. Um, I may need more power. I may need more. Uh, it seems to work okay. It seems to move fairly well. Okay. I don't know how to farm my lasers. All right. Well, this could be all awkward. <laughs> Let me go back over here. I want to go up there. All right, so this is the Red Raider area. Uh, so this may be bad because I don't know how to fire my weapons. We're around over here because I know I know there's red raiders over here. Oh, there's a base. It's time to find out how this thing works. Oh, we got we got bad guys coming in. Do they fire automatically? Oh, Jesus! I held the space bar. I don't know if... I don't know if... I don't know what just happened. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I don't want to get too close to the space station. I kind of want them to generate more ships and fly at me so I figure out if, if it fires automatically or because if it fires automatically, especially if it fires automatically and takes down ships, all I got to do is just go fly. <laughs> It'd be you turn on the turbos. Those guys are lucky they escaped by Flinger. <laughs> but so like I said, it, the real part about it is is making sure that you have as as much weapons and armor as you can for the size of your ship and make sure that when you're firing everything that you're not running out of power. Because uh, that's that's the real problem is running out of power in the middle of a fight. That's really going to cause some problems, right? And these guys are little tiny guys. Like, okay, so that they're not doing anything there. Okay, so I, I guess I have to. Okay, so you hold down space bar. And then it auto targets anything that's that it's angry at. Uh, 
And these are smaller guys, so they're not really that big of a, a big of a problem. Um, especially c considering what we're we're actually fire, fighting at them against. Like I should never have this this ship at this part of the game. Like this is <laughs> this is beyond cheating. Like I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Dove, for for being mean to your game. Uh, but you know. And you can actually fly through the sun. Uh, I've done it on several ba bases by accident. Uh, so if you really need to, you can. <laughs> fly through the sun. Uh, so, but like I said, um, honestly, uh, having dealt with it and dealing with the. Uh... <laughs> They're insane. I need to find a bigger ship uh, and figure out how how those work. Uh, but out of all the out of all the weapons, like I thought the missiles were going to be my favorite. Uh, the uh, uh, the fixed guns are definitely awesome in and of themselves. Uh, so this is another one of the guys that you, you run into early in the game too. These are the ones that say, "Hey, don't go." Uh, good luck with that. I, I, oh, you shouldn't have done that. So they shoot green lasers, and they get melted. Right. Uh, so the the trick with it is, and as with most things, is to make sure that you have uh enough. You know, I, I said it again. You need to make sure that I, I, it's really hard to test this one. I need to watch probably the next time. Uh, I have plenty of battery power, uh, even though I only have two reactors. Uh, they are large reactors, so I'm sure that helps quite a bit. Um, so you want to make sure that you can get as much power as you can into the ship. Uh, and then it would be interesting to see, like, on a, a small ship <laughs> with uh, maybe a couple of these little laser things, like, like exactly what kind of trouble we could get into, um, but uh, the the real trick with it is is pick pick a weapon type or two. You can you can get away with two. Like if you're going to do missiles, I recommend like missiles and, and plasma or something like that. Um, I don't recommend mixing the heavier guys together uh, because they all use the space bar to fire. Oh no, they're shooting at me. So we are losing a little bit of really, really. <laughs> so, and I love it. I love that it has the old school like Star Trek freaking laser blasters. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Um, but so I recommend choosing a a weapon type. Uh, if you're gonna do missiles, I recommend like missiles and and plasma, uh, just because you want to be able to have those. Uh, you, I switching back and forth between weapons isn't necessarily a, a fun thing to go with. I want to drive over here next to the station and see if uh, see what it's gonna do about me shooting uh, it shooting missiles at me. Come on, shoot him with slut. Come on, you can do it. It's okay. <laughs> and it's got some range on it too, especially upgraded. And these, like I said, these are, are small ships. They don't shoot missiles. Oh, they do shoot missiles. Okay. So having it shoot missiles is is amazing because that means, honestly, at that point, this I, I would think that this is the best sort of a weapon out there. 
Um, the problem is, is, especially with the way the game is built right now, it doesn't seem to always get the missiles. Um, so with the way the game is built now, it's kind of hard to, well, you don't really get the, the laser until later in the game. Um, it's definitely meant to be a, a later, a later, uh, build, uh, for the game. Um, but, uh, like I said, I, I keep repeating myself and I'm, I'm sorry for that. Uh, but choose your weapon type, whether you want missiles, you want fixed guns or you want lasers. Uh, save as many points as you can to put into said weapon uh, and then go down that path uh, and really the more the more you have of that the better off you are especially with the missiles uh, the missiles you want to be careful with your orientation because uh, you can get them to fire off at weird angles and you want to make sure that uh, those are they're, they're pointed in a direction that is going to work right so with the, uh, and if you want to pull stuff off of it, like if I want to resell all this stuff, I can just grab all the stuff and once I disconnect everything from uh, the bridge, it drops everything off, right? So once you get into your other weapons, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you see the little missile guys on there, right? They, they point towards that blue beacon. So if you put these the wrong way around, right? So if we go back to my ship designs, we go to the missile boat, we're gonna load that design, right? So you notice on these guys, I have them pointing outward. So if I point them backwards, right, then Fine, fine, fine. All right, so if I do that, you notice now the missiles are pointing backwards. They're they're firing they're firing across the ship, and then and then to the rear. So making sure that you point those things the direction that you want them to go uh, is very important for the missiles and definitely for the fixed guns also. Um, so if we uh now we go ship design go back to the cruiser new ship right so if we go back to the cruiser we go to our energy we go to get us a large battery get us large reactor get that again Let's get this guy out of there. Let's do that. And let's do something funny in the middle. Do a little battery in the middle. Um, so if you take your oh we need pulsion. Utilities. Right, and then we go back to our energy weapon and we go to fixed gun. Let me go to research here real quick. Um, and also in fixed guns, notice you have fixed guns, uh, coil projection. And then you have fixed guns mark two. And also be noticed that with the fusion missiles, it takes one uranium per fusion missile to launch them. Uh, so that's something to be aware of. So energy weapons, then we can go here. We have a Mark II fixed gun, right? You can rotate these to the side. So if you really want to do that, you can put these things down the side of your ship. Uh, I didn't have not done this in my game because, uh, first of all, uh, I need to do this. Put a bunch more of these on here. <laughs> oh, this is dumb. Uh, let's go back to research. Uh, the other thing, if you're going to do fixed guns, uh, this thing here, where it's your fixed gun shots or module target below a certain health percentage, right? Okay, that was that was this is very helpful. 
Uh, because basically what it does is it turns it into a rail gun and it starts firing through uh, and penetrating. So you can hit the outside of the ship and as soon as you can knock the outside of the ship down, you can knock it down further. This target assistance redirects our fixed gun projectiles by several degrees. If you're going to do fixed guns, I highly recommend the uh, magnetic alignment, additional firing assist accuracy, and the target assist. Uh, this made a huge difference uh, in, uh, in using the fixed guns for me. Uh, so now obviously this thing is, is crazy. And if we fire, you notice now they're going to go off to the side. Which is great if you're trying to do broadsides. Oh god, sorry station. <laughs> I got scared for a second. I thought I destroyed my own station. Um, so you can get away with, with quite a bit of it. But you also have to notice that they're only going to fire to the sides. Um, so your alignment of where you put those is very important. Um, and, uh, and you're trying to get your, uh, your ship to fire in the correct directions and to, to set the ship up for your playstyle. So really, the, the important thing is, is to know what your playstyle is, what you want out of the game, and then once you've kind of figured that out, figure out which weapons work to your playstyle. Uh, which, in and of itself, sometimes is the hardest part about these games. So, we'll get over here here in a minute. <laughs> Actually, put more inches on this thing. Oh, there's some bad guys. Come here. Let's have a chat. Uh, so once we get close, you'll notice that those things are going to light up. Uh, and you get this kind of like angle where, where, where they're going to fire, right? So it does give you kind of a, a laser, a, a trace around of kind of where they're going to go. Uh, so as long as you're, you're kind of smart about it, you can kind of definitely, definitely cause quite a bit of damage with these things. Uh, but it does take a little bit more time and, and you want to make sure that your ship is set up to, uh, to fire directly, right? Uh, and where you can target. Uh, but with that, that is most of the weapons. Uh, the only other thing that you kind of have to worry about is the different ships. Um, these guys are, are little guys. You, we ran into the one guys that had the green lasers on them. You run into ones that have missiles. Basically, they use the different weapons uh, as you get them. And as you get into that crew, uh, they will uh, basically use the weapons that you're worried about. The only ones I haven't run into so far are somebody using the lasers. Uh, and But for the most part, that is it. And uh, I, hopefully, hopefully this has helped a little bit. Uh, if you guys do have more questions, uh, this will probably be a standalone video on this. Uh, if y'all do have questions, please put them down in the in the, uh, the comments, and we'll kind of go into it. Uh, I'll keep this save game laying around uh, in case I do need to get back into it. Uh, that way, I have basically a more of a sandbox type build that allows me to do what I what I need to do, uh, and allows me to uh, to to test different things out and things like that. So. But with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go, and we will talk to y'all soon. Talk to y'all later. Bye!